Welcome back to my channel. Again, it's been a little while. Some days I'm like able to do stuff and other days I'm just really down in the dumps. So, you know, taking it a bit at a time. Although my hair has grown out a little bit, I thought I would show you how I have been styling this haircut, which is a Gina Lola Brigida inspired cut. These are the photos I took to my hairdresser. She did a fantastic job. So while in Australia, I got myself a bunch of brush rollers or like self gripping rollers to do my hair. And I actually love these. When I had longer hair, they were a nightmare because they get tangled in my hair. I have fine hair, but with short hair, they work really, really well. So I would recommend them to girls with short haircuts. We're working with 24 millimeter and uh, 21 millimeter, which I'll be using for like the undersides to keep the hair nice and lifted. I'm going to spritz my hair with my setting lotion, make sure got some dampness to work with and just comb that through make sure it is evenly distributed now I'm just using a setting lotion that's still going from Superdrug which is like a home brand beauty store in the UK I dilute it with water uh, but you use whatever works for you. If you don't have setting lotion at home, you can use beer or a sugar water lotion. I do have a recipe that I will link above in a very, very old video that I should probably update. Okay, so I'm going to draw the front back and just work with my bang section here. Starting with one of the bigger rollers, which is the 24 millimeter, I'm just going to set my bangs. Now, as always, you want to set the roller back on the root of the hair so that you don't have it dragging the roots flat. So see how there is lift directly from the root. You don't want to roll it like this because then you'll be flattening the root. So make sure you roll it on top of the roots. I've got a really deep part. So I actually wanted this little bit to come over like the fringy bit to cover this bit. Otherwise I look like I have a ball patch. Um, but my part is set right over here, like at the sort of end of my eyebrow. It's gonna give you a very early 60s look and give you plenty of hair to create volume. Then I'm gonna roll everything at the front here down this way, starting with the bigger rollers at the top. And I like these because you can also just use the roller to brush the hair out and get it all smooth and ready to go into the roller. And then see how I'm pulling the hair back on itself so that when I finish rolling, it's all sitting on top of the root and we've got lift from the root. So easy to tuck your ends in because you literally tuck them and they stick to the brush. Love, love, love. And if you are finding they aren't sticking, you might have a little bit too much hair in each section. So just back it off a little bit. And this is the last one I'm going to place because I'm getting, I'm getting towards these wispy side bits, which I like to put in the smaller curlers. I just find it frames the face better and allows me to work more with waves around my face and it keeps the whole thing lifted. So going in with the 21 millimeter. Okay, so I've kept them all close together. I've just got this one at the front and then everything else going this way because I'm gonna have the hair sort of swooping like this. So we want it rolling down that way and I want height and lift here because then the rest of the hair is going to be heightened and lifted back. Now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna use one big one at the top to create lift and then the rest will be the little ones. Okay, so that is the front section done. Now I'm going to work in sections throughout the back. I kind of honestly just randomly place these. Just try and put lots in so that you get plenty of volume in the hair and so it dries quickly. I'm gonna turn around and do it all backwards for you guys. I 
And I left all my hair rollers in Australia and bought these ones specifically for this video and I did not get enough because apparently I never count how many I actually use. So I'm gonna finish this off with my twisty curlers. Back here where I've done green ones, I would have done the pink ones and I would have just done the bottoms under here with the green. Actually, I'm gonna go with my 50s metal rollers because I'm gonna get a way similar result. So I'll finish off with those. Okay, we are gonna let that set and I will see you after lunch. Ah, they give you so much volume. I've just pulled them straight out, obviously. Figured you guys didn't really need to see that part. It's not that difficult. And now I'm gonna give it a brush through. Always like to brush upwards, just to create more volume, keep that height in the hair. You can see putting the roller in the front has given me a little lift through here. I am gonna tease a little through the back. I'm just gonna take a thin section of hair. I also have a video on teasing tips if that's something that you struggle with a little bit. I will link that up above. But basically you want to hold the hair up, pop your comb in and literally back comb down to the roots. And then we want to spread the teased hair out over the crown of the head. Judging it now and then to make sure that it still has height. You don't want to brush your tees out. And then I just try and see what direction the curls are naturally sort of going. As usual, hair will always do what it wants, so you're better off just running with that. Once I get something in a place that I like it, I give it a good spritz. Flyaways. I have very fine hair, so flyaways is just sort of <laughs> part of my life, really. I like that this sort of flicks up and out, so I'm going to try and work with that. Some of these bits have grown out a bit quicker than others for me, so sometimes it's a bit hard to get them to cooperate. Voila! That is how I set my hair with brush rollers. For more vintage hairstyling tips, you can always check out the vintage hairstyling playlist that I have. I'll link that up above and down below in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!